What's up guys, Ivan here. So in this video I'm going to show you how the MBUX works and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing if you like this video and let me know in the comment section down below if you have more questions about this topic and if you like this video give this video a like and uh, if you subscribe don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you get notified uh, for new videos. So let's get started. Alright guys, so first we need to turn the ignition on so this is how this looks and at the moment I have a sport team sport mode and now I have here the profile so I had here, I had their guest and then my profile. All right guys, so this is setup, which is like a middle setup. So this is not base. And also this is not the best setup. So uh, the base setup is seven inch and seven inch. Middle setup, which I have is seven inch and 10.25 inch. And then the top setup is both screens are like this. 10.25 so I have the middle option here as you can see there are no bezels between the display and this border so there is no bezel if you have base both 7 inch screens then you have visible bezel like few millimeters and it doesn't look uh, really good so if you are going to spec this car or a bike car or buy this car a class I recommend for you to buy at least uh, what I have here uh, so uh, this is like a middle spec because uh, yeah these bezels I saw them in person and uh, yeah it doesn't look very good you have like a visible bezel here border between the screen and uh, the display and this like uh, yeah this border okay so let's get started so first I'm going to show you this dashboard so you control with steering wheel with this part you control uh, this dashboard and with this part on the steering wheel you control uh, the multimedia display the MBUX and uh, this is also for cruise control and these are for the dashboard so I'm going to show you how this works and what you can uh, do with this display is not that bad as uh, many people think so you can normally use this so when I press home you can see what you can uh, adjust here so you can have assistance, telephone, navigation, trip, radio, media, uh, driving dynamics, styles and service so right now I'm in the trip setting and within the trip setting I can have this uh, riff counter then I can have a speedo and you can see here the dots so this is second then third is like uh, actual fuel consumption and this white bar is um, average fuel consumption from start as you can see there Uh, then you have eco display so this is uh, based on uh, how economically are you driving if you ac accelerate not uh, very uh, hard then you have more bars here and if you have a constant like uh, on the cruise control then you have this bar so this is the display eco display and you can see there the bonus how much uh, actually you gain oh, wait if I I press the ignition then you can see uh, I gained 11 kilometers from the start you can see the range there this is from the start the average fuel consumption so my fuel consumption uh, for 51 kilometers uh, in 45 minutes is uh, 
5.8 liters per 100 kilometers and you have their average speed and this is my total for the entire uh, driving with the car for the entire time uh, alright so you can see there the icons I'm going to switch this and if you switch you have this animation so I want just this this is uh, very nice alright so if I press home uh, I can have a navigation here I can save previous destination or if I'm driving somewhere I can see my map also if I have here the map then uh, I can have it here as well so this is like a 3d map and you can have a uh, this view here so this was the navigation and if you have a target for example then you can uh, see here the arrow uh, when and where you need to uh, turn so telephone you can have there some contacts you need to pair your phone but I don't use this uh, here assistance this is uh, if you have a distronic you can see there the autopilot uh, but I don't have this feature but you can see here the uh, last brake uh, since you started to drive all right radio so you can have a radio here I just need to turn the station on but you can basically switch station with this like touchpad then you have multimedia this is also for songs driving dynamics you have a g-force here and that's it so uh, and also the Newton meters or uh, if you live in America then you have a pounds feet of torque and then styles uh, so I, I'm using always sport because I like it a lot more and you have also classic but I really don't like this it's like blue everything is blue here and uh, yeah I'm not really big fan of this but uh, some people like this more than sport so it's your personal preference uh, but uh, as you can see for example in trip the speedometer looks uh, completely different and uh, yeah it's just a uh, personal preference uh, so that's that I'm going to give it back I'm going to set it back into sport so yeah I like this a lot more then you have uh, after styles you have service so if you have some error message uh, you are going to have it here uh, at the blue this is diesel car so you can see how much uh, do you have and what's the range on the at blue which you can drive this is only for Europe because uh, US doesn't use diesel cars diesel engines uh, maybe only in the trucks uh, so yeah uh, that's uh, add blue then you have tires so tires are great I'm going to give you some uh, screenshots uh, because I'm not driving now maybe if I turn the ignition on no you need to drive but I'm going to give you some um, I'm going to give you some uh, photos uh, of the, the tire pressure and you can also see there the temperature and also the pressure of each tire and temperature of each tire so uh, this is really great also in service uh, you can see uh, assist plus this is for service 
so you know where is your next uh, service and if it's A or B service then you have coolant so you can see uh, what's the temperature engine level oil of course uh, also you need to have uh, ignition on and drive a little bit but I'm going to uh, show you now the screenshot from before and then you have consumption information and this is like uh, what we saw uh, before so this is like an entire uh, average consumption yeah so uh, I really like to use it in um, sport and I also like uh, most of the time I have it in the trip and uh, most of the time I have it on the refs because uh, yeah it's um, the yeah because I like it this uh, more and also sometimes if I'm on the highway I like to watch the consumption yeah because it's a uh, uh, normal drive boring actually <laughs> on the highway so yeah I'm uh, just watching this and yeah basically that's it sometimes I look uh, at this also uh, here you have um, your range how much kilometers you can drive on the fuel and also the fuel level you can see how nicely it went from uh, left to the right here you can see uh, your lights so these are the parking lights and the LED lights and then uh, if I press then I have the full lights full headlights and then you can see your transmission if it's in park reverse neutral or drive and here is the um, driving style so I can change driving style with this toggle here called dynamic dynamic select and I can and I can change pushing this here with this motion and I can have individual sport comfort and eco so in eco the drivetrain and engine is in eco steering is comfort and ESP is also comfort uh, in comfort mode everything is on comfort so the change is here as you can see between eco and comfort only in drivetrain and transmission sport everything is on sport and individual you can uh, customize these three things and I set uh, the individual mode I have everything on comfort but steering I have uh, in sport mode so actually I can drive uh, the same way like in comfort mode but my steering wheel is uh, like a more sharp so I really like this uh, that's why I said it like this if you have adaptive suspension you have here uh, like a next you have here like a additional uh, feature so you can change your uh, suspension from normal to sport and sport plus all right, so this MBUX system is new for a Mercedes and uh, you can communicate with this uh, display uh, with three ways. You can touch it like this because it's a touch display. Then you can uh, operate with this part like I showed you before. And then you can also use this like a trackpad so you have here the middle console and then you have this is for rest resting your palm so you can like uh, very comfortably use this so if I swipe like this and also this change so you have uh, basically three ways how to operate the MBUX system and also you have a uh, voice commands so uh, for the first time you can uh, use the car with your voice so for example if I say hey Mercedes how can I help you and you can say a lot of different uh, things to the car what can I do for you help to become acquainted with the voice control system we recommend using the introduction to the voice control system if you want help for a specific application or function you can say for example help for navigation or 
help for a dress book. So you can say hey and the name, or you can just push here as you can see. Then you can start to talk. If you don't want to, uh, could you repeat your input, please? If you don't want to tell with, if you don't want to speak with it, then just press here, like with the calling. So from left to right, this is like you can see here uh, on which level are you now. And you have also like a hapt haptic feedback, so you can like feel it also, and you can hear also the swiping. So if you want to see what's like beneath it, you can just swipe up and you can see here the suggestions. Then you can see here the teams. So this is the trip team, experience team. So based uh, what you choose, everything is like uh, changing. So if I choose this trip, then everything change changes to like a trip setting it gives me a route guidance and also this is in the trip setting if I come back and I'm going to do experience then everything is like in sport mode and I have a g-force so if I choose efficiency then I have a eco display here. So these are like the teams. You have a lounge here, standard, and you can do your own team. So yeah, I, uh, to be honest, I don't really use this because uh, I set everything to sport and then I change just uh, myself what I want to see. So phone. If you have connected phone, you can see contacts there. This is dialing and uh, Bluetooth and other settings. Messages. So uh, I usually just uh, find the contact and uh, call. Navigation. So this is a root guidance. So as you can see, and this car has live traffic and what it means is that uh, this system is constantly watching uh, from the satellite and the traffic then it can uh, reroute your uh, route so you are uh, quicker in your destination so you can set here where you should go you can turn on or off the voice commands and uh, this is for uh, settings for the route so as you can see, you can have a, you can set the alternative route if you have like a, one preset. Uh, then you can see the route overview, all, uh, all destination. You can add more destinations, and you can, for example, avoid options like uh, motorways or ferries, tunnels, unpaved road. I have this because I don't want to drive in the dirt. You can have uh, like use toll roads or don't use, so you can drive in different country uh, without using uh, the vineyard road or the toll road. And you can avoid uh, areas, you can select an uh, area which you want to avoid. Then traffic, you can have uh, traffic messages something happens so you can see what happened if there are road works yeah this is like uh, based uh, on your location so for example here it's uh, not possible to go so you can check this and it's very useful but if you set your destination then it automatically uh, is doing everything so you are on the quickest way in the in your destination so if you use this compared to this touchpad is a little bit different this is like a more strong uh, sound also you can report 
uh, traffic uh, uh, incident but I'm not doing uh, this usually because I don't have time to report uh, these things then you can uh, position uh, like previous destination you can have a compass here so you can see where are you exactly and also you can see the altitude so it's really advanced setting, uh, advanced uh, navigation then you have settings so you can uh, see the parkings, traffic and everything you have advanced so you can uh, which I'll show you before you can avoid different options like this and then you can set which route uh, do you want so I have set the fast route so you have fast route, short route and uh, eco route then you have dynamic route guidance so uh, this means that it automatically changes your route if, it, if there is like a big traffic jam so uh, yeah I have this on uh, automatic but you can set it uh, you, it can ask you if you want to change but I have, I have this on automatic then you can select uh, suggest alternative route then you have commuter route so yeah it's very advanced so auto zoom means that uh, if it zooms uh, out and in if you are uh, like turning on different st street then it can zoom in and if you are going like straight then it can, it can zoom out point of interest symbols so i have this turned on and you can uh, see there what you want to uh, have there like a, what do you want to see you can have a satellite map I don't really use this so uh, that's that online map content so you can see where is the weather from petrol station prices yeah and you can see view a map in the instrument cluster so if I change it here so I have this now in 3D so that's pretty cool if you want to have it here if you have like a dual uh, bigger display you have do and you have two uh, speedos then you can see like a really big uh, map but I just do it here and here I have a speed so I have root guidance here then you can use uh, map orientation I have it on 3d because that's uh, how I like it you can have a 2D north up or 2D heading up yeah, so that's that so in traffic we can have traffic incidents free flowing traffic delays motorway information intersecting street so you see here uh, the next intersecting street yeah, so it's uh, very detailed, as you can see. All right, so for example, if I want to uh, press this, where to go, I can choose the symbols like this, and it shows me like uh, the closest things there if I'm if I make a mistake then I can delete uh, I can also touch the display and uh, touch like a faster and also I can uh, write on the touchpad with my finger so here I can make like a hey This would be B. 
so it's really it's really fast if you make a mistake then just delete you can also set here the favorites and you can have their uh, your home address but I'm not going to press there for uh, obvious reasons then you can see filling stations so this is like Tesco 60 meters so it's right there then you have like uh, these are the closest gas stations so if you are in some place where you don't know where is the near gas station then you can use this feature but uh, in your town you probably know where is the gas station but yeah it's nice uh, to know when you are traveling or you are in the new area then we can see parking areas so right now I'm at the Tesco parking you have uh, other parkings so yeah that's also very useful restaurants so the closest one is McDonald's uh, 400 meters so uh, you can see here a little burger then it's uh, like a different restaurant so these are the closest ones then you can also record a route uh, but I don't use this it's very advanced as you can see most of the people I don't think they will use all the all of these features we have also uh, the geolocation coordinates alright guys so let's continue so we have been in the navigation and uh, so uh, you can see based uh, where you live you can see the name of the radio stations so the design is really nice and then if you want uh, FM you can change to AM and here uh, you have sound and you can change here the settings like uh, equalizer so you can change uh, treble mid tones and uh, bass so I have it like uh, this when the when the music is uh, has different like a tone then I'll uh, adjust this maybe like this so uh, that's that then you can change here the balance if you want to have a uh, more sound in the front in the back or uh, left and right so for example if you are in the car alone and uh, other people are like sleeping then you can uh, have it like this so only the driver speaker will be activated so uh, this is useful this is useful feature I keep it like this in the middle most of the time right here is just uh, automatic volume adjustment uh, when uh, for example a root guidance is speaking uh, then you can uh, then the music is like uh, well, uh, quieter so that's that so this is the radio and then also you can have here all kinds of settings so you can have like a list of the radios you can uh, You can turn down the music or turn it up. Then you have here the traffic information. So this is when uh, your radio station has like a, uh, has like a, every 30 minutes it says where are the crash and where is uh, like police uh, police officers. So you can have this. And there then are the additional settings. You can fix the frequency and you can uh, display on the radio text information so this is the radio and then the multimedia I'm going to switch to a different phone so I can uh, show it to you with my phone alright so I'm back so uh, media is when you have connected your phone 
with the car. So, uh, so you can see here, here is my uh, Spotify, and you can see here the media. So for example, if I want to uh, play, I can play it from the phone. Or I can uh, play it from the from this part, so I can stop it here. I can play. Then I can adjust volume here, either with this one or with this one. So it works uh, very good and uh, as you could hear, uh, this is uh, copyright free music so you c I can play it here uh, during the video. So um, uh, these speakers are uh, the bass speakers in my car. You can have uh, premium speakers and then you can have a Burmester system. So but even if this is like a bass speakers then uh, it has really like a good sound and uh, to my previous car it has much more uh, um, much more quality audio system okay so there's that and uh, some sometimes it shows the this cover of the music Sometimes it doesn't. So this is uh, probably I don't know why is that is it like this? Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, also, a great feature is if you see this uh, touchpad. Uh, let me press the the button. So uh, if you see here this uh, touchpad, you can actually switch the. Uh, track just by swiping like this. If you press here, then you can see this uh, like a bar what is playing. You can even have like a navigation. And if you press this, then this shows for the music. So that's great. And what is even better is uh, you don't even need to. Uh, you don't even need to press this, you just can swipe with the finger up here and it changes the music like on the on this edge. So if I swipe, if I just swipe like this, then it changes. So this is very, if you want to go back, you can swipe back and then you can have a back music. So this is really great. So let's go back to the media. So you can have here uh, like playlist. But to be honest, I just uh, if I use it, I use it on the random, or um, yeah, maybe um, usually on the on the shuffle style. So uh, actually, that's this one here. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this part, and uh, you can search for music, but uh, it doesn't work here. Probably you need to have a Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. But for me, this is not like a huge deal. This is uh, for me. This is very advanced uh, because my previous car. Uh, didn't have anything like this so probably with the Apple CarPlay it's easier to uh, choose the song but for but I use just this uh, this swiping motion I use this for me this is uh, like enough if I don't like uh, 
uh, the track I just swipe and uh, I can have a next track so yeah okay so switching uh, back uh, to my phone all right so I'm back on my uh, phone shooting and uh, next is uh, vehicle info so you have here like a little icons so these are the additional functions so vehicle info uh, basically I need to turn the ignition for this so you can see here you can have you have here like a last setting but it wasn't really my setting sometimes it uh, uses like a general setting if I don't uh, if I don't actually uh, to let me turn the, off the uh, AC I'm going to show you here the AC setting so uh, you can have a, an auto here also you can change it here for example if I want to turn it off I can turn it off or I can uh, reselect when I, where I want to shoot the air so and I can set also the temperature for me or for for the passenger so or I can do a sync also here I can do sync so uh, this is recirculation of the air this is AC uh, rear defrost front uh, maximum uh, like uh, uh, so the windscreen is defrosting this is automatic feature and this is off so I'm just going to shut it now and uh, in the vehicle setting you can see this if you press this uh, button then it's like in the full screen mode so this is uh, you can see here the additional function so uh, when I uh, press the brake then it shows me how much I'm pressing the brake and if I press the accelerator it shows me also uh, how much I'm pressing the accelerator now uh, the engine is turned off but if I would drive then it would be like uh, if I press the uh, the pedal on the floor then it's like 100 if I brake a lot then yeah it shows me the percentage also it shows me the angle how much I'm uh, steering uh, with the steering wheel now uh, it's locked but uh, yeah basically if you turn the steering wheel then it uh, is also turning this uh, uh, this feature shows you how much you are turning all right so next is uh, engine and here you can see the actual engine uh, data so here is the oil temperature and here is the coolant temperature and so you can see the blue bar is like uh, it's okay uh, when it's on blue uh, this is the voltage how much uh, is using now for example if I turn on the seat heaters and uh, the rear defroster then this number is higher uh, I can actually start the engine so next uh, you have a consumption so this is uh, last 30 minutes you can change this to last 90 minutes 3 hours you have different graph graphics and there is your number for the average consumption so yeah that's this and then you have a Mercedes me and uh, apps so uh, if I press this uh, I, you can see there uh, your Mercedes me account if you are uh, if you want to search for these things then you can do it also if you want to uh, search the browser you need to data data tariff so you need to have a tariff for this also what is cool about Mercedes me you have here uh, on the top uh, these uh, buttons for the lights and uh, SOS button and also here is a Mercedes me button so when you press this then it connects you to uh, to the local uh, guy uh, and uh, for example you can ask him uh, what is the weather in uh, this and this city and he will search it for you 
he can also um, or she depends on the operator uh, so uh, the person can also um, order like uh, tickets for your cinema to go uh, to the movie and they can order a pizza for you but you need to give them your credit card uh, information so they can pay uh, for you all right and the last is uh, settings so um, you can change here the ESP I'm going to start the engine so you can change the ESP from on to off then you can have a parktronic you can turn it on or off this is the automatic uh, parking pilot active line assist and this is when uh, the car is uh, like staying in the lane assistance uh, speed limit so the car can uh, alert you with uh, these features if you are going uh, over the speed limit and you can have like a threshold here also, this is like a hard beat. So you can have a warning threshold. And you can, you can see the actual speed limit actually there when you are moving. So uh, that's really cool. And then camera and park assist. So you can have a you can set the warning tone, for example, I have it on 3, also this one on 3, so uh, you have many, many settings, uh, so many settings here. Auto reversing camera, so if you are reversing, then the camera is automatically engaged. You can open a camera cover if you need but uh, yeah it's always hidden so you don't need to clean it then active brake assist so this is as you can see here uh, when the car in front of you oh it's also a class that's funny so um, where the car is um, in front of you like uh, stopping and you don't uh, pay attention you don't apply brakes then the active brake assist can brake for you so you can uh, select early medium or late so uh, i have it on medium yeah because uh, i don't need uh, like early because i pay attention uh, so you can also turn it off if you want but i don't recommend this i uh, experienced this once when the car was uh, like turning to the left and the car thought that uh, I'm in danger and it applied like brakes so uh, because the car didn't uh, the car in front of me they didn't um, press the signal uh, how is it called in English the signal features basically this one they didn't engage so the car uh, thought that um, the car is uh, like uh, full braking and uh, there could be uh, like a crash in front of me so that's uh, why the car tried to save me attention assist this you can see here the cup so this is when uh, you are driving too long so the car will tell you that you need to have a break at the gas station or uh, the restaurant so I put it on sensitive because it never told me that I need a break so I'm not sure how is it uh, like um, watching me uh, maybe during the steering wheel how much I'm uh, using or how much uh, how long I'm driving so I put it on sensitive to see if I if it will show me some alerts but it didn't show me yet and then this is uh, active uh, uh, lane keeping assist you can set it to standard sensitive or off and you can have also warning so I have it on standard but this is uh, 
uh, how is using the car this system is that it will apply brakes on uh, each of the lanes it wouldn't um, so you don't like a uh, crash if you have like a middle if you are in the in this uh, right lane and here you have um, like a, another left lane then uh, the steering wheel will just uh, vibrate it wouldn't uh, like break because you are not going to crash so that's why it will only vibrate but if you would go to the right side and you would go uh, like uh, outside of the uh, highway or, or the road then it will start to break so uh, it could be good but if the if there is a uh, work on the road and there are many lines that are like a yellow line white line then it doesn't really know uh, which line is correct so i uh, turn it off then also i turn it off in the city because um, yeah i'm uh, always paying attention so i don't really need this uh, turn it off turn it on uh, in the city so if i come back this is everything if you have this tronic plus then you have uh, another fee another settings here so how the uh, how the car need to follow the car in front of it and uh, etc uh, then next uh, also also this navigation really is nice you can have it uh, like uh, here and uh, turn the car so it really looks like uh, like in the video game so then uh, vehicle you have dynamic select and this is uh, also this this toggle here so you can change here the individual setting for example for individual mode you can change uh, drive and drive train uh, from comfort to sport or eco or manual and then you can change steering uh, steering comfort and sport and esp you can change from sport to comfort And you can have a car asking you when you start or if you want uh, the previous settings then winter tire limit you can set a uh, tire limit based on what you have uh, on the outside of the tire but uh, here the speed limit anyway is uh, 130 so i'm not uh, driving faster than 130 kilometers per hour so I don't really need this. Uh, this would be useful in the Germany, where is the autobahn, and uh, then you know, um, for example, each tire has like a mark, for example, uh, W or Y or Z, and then uh, you need to set this uh, t uh, tire limit so you don't, uh, so you are not going faster than the winter tire can allow you. So that's that. Standby mode is when you are going on a vacation or like this, when you are away from the car for like, uh, let's say, two weeks. Uh, I would engage the standby mode. Then you have acoustic lock, so the car beeps when you lock it. Only when you lock it. If you uh, unlock it, it doesn't beep. Then you have auto folding mirrors, so as you can see, really nice animation. So if you lock the car, then uh, the mirrors will fold automatically. Automatic door lock. So probably this means that uh, all, do all doors are uh, locked. So I use this also. And then you can have a, a uh, search for uh, the gas station. But I don't use it because I know where are the gas station or I, or I uh, find it from the, uh, from the route guidance, from the navigation. So th that's this, and in the lights you have a, you can have a surround lighting. So this means that um, uh, the lights under the mirrors are uh, are lights when you like uh, leave the car, and also the rear and uh, front uh, LED lights. Exterior light shut off. Uh, this means that when you lock the car and go away, then the these lights will be on for this period of time so you can have it off and they don't they wouldn't be like on uh, i have it on 60 seconds because i really liked it when i uh, turn uh, 
when I lock the car and walk away and it, uh, it's, it's like uh, on the, the lights are on. Alright, so interior light shut off. This means that if you lock the car and then the interior will, uh, will be on for a period of time like 15 seconds but I have it on because I don't want two people to watch uh, to see what I have in my car yeah so I don't like this and uh, then you have system so you can change uh, style uh, of the display here so uh, as I showed you before here you can have a classic or sport then display brightness so you can set the brightness of the display when I'm in the city and during day I have it on like uh, two or three depends if it's uh, like a cloudy day or sunny day then I have it on plus five if it's strong sun and then I have it on plus five if it's like uh, if I'm like driving a long distance outside of the city I have it I can have it even on minus five it's not really that visible on the camera because the camera of the phone is like adjusting for this but believe me it's a big difference uh, so this is this you can turn off completely the display so you have just uh, this display whether it's 7 or 10.25 uh, inch also if you want to wake up display just press the home button Then you can have a night day design. So uh, this means that, for example, the root, root guidance during night it has like a, has like a black uh, design. So I have it on automatic. You can have always day design or always uh, night. So if I uh, have a day design, then I have this. But it's very like uh, I'm almost blind during night, so it's not good during night to have a day design so that's why I have a automatic so when it's dark outside or when I go into the tunnel or into the garage then uh, it's automatically changing so that's great so many settings and I don't even have uh, all the options also what I want to say in the lights if you have ambient lighting then you have these settings uh, here so uh, like this um, these vents and these lines here would be like um, colorful so you can change the colors all right so back in system so controls you can uh, adjust here the touchpad sensitivity fast medium slow I have it on medium then you can adjust this so uh, touchpad is um, like this or this I'm not really sure but you can adjust uh, sensitivity here but it's working great then you can have touchpad tap haptic operating feed feedback this means that uh, if I'm scrolling this is like a little bit uh, vibrating so uh, I like a haptic feedback so I like this you can have uh, acoustic Operating feedback you can have loud so it's louder or normal or off So you can turn everything you can have like only only this haptic So try to hear now Linguatronic this is uh, This as you can see here So audio you can change This as we can as we change it before then you can change it here volume for driving recommendation audio fade out So Wi-Fi Bluetooth, this is if you have like a 
SIM card with a data plan. You can make like a hotspot. Time and date, so you can uh, have automatic or you can uh, change it. I have the automatic and it's great. So you can change the language of the entire system here. You have these languages. So I have it in English, also the car wants to drive. Okay, so that's that. Then you can change the units from kilometers to miles. You can have an additional speedometer. So this is uh, uh, when I change here, probably, or I'm not sure, I don't use this. License activation. Software updates. So everything is on automatic. System backup. So yeah, you can even set the pin code. All right, so this is uh, this would be very long video. If you have uh, some notifications for messages or calls, you can find it here in the in the right corner. And here you have a home button. Also here is a home button. Also here. So yeah, guys, uh, this is very long video. You can also turn it off here. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, in the separate video I will do high Mercedes uh, oh. this feature I will do like a separate video because this is uh, already a very long video Alright guys, so uh, let me know if you like this video Alright guys, so that's all for this video. If you like this video, give this video a like. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And also subscribe for future videos and turn the notification bell on. And as always guys, have a great day.